Hello my soccer universe and welcome to the 22-23 Europa League jersey review. Yes, it's a bit late thanks to the World Cup. We are entering the quarterfinal stage as I'm uh, recording this. But so be it, there are still some really nice jerseys to look at. It's a very eclectic mix. Actually, we have quite a few brands and uh, it's actually Adidas who have the most, most teams in here with seven. Then we have Nike with six and Puma Macron each with five and then a couple of uh, brands with two uh, or only one team. So that is exciting to have an eclectic mix. Also, we have a good selection uh, of countries in the countries that we usually don't uh, really talk that much on this channel. Now, within uh, this video, um, if there's a team that I've already covered, I will just give you the jersey and the grade. Uh, and if they have released me uh, since the last review a jersey, even if it's not one in the Europa League, I will briefly talk about that one. For teams that we have not covered yet or that are in smaller leagues, um, I usually will go through the entire set of jerseys. However, the whole thing might not be super precise because sometimes it's not very uh, clear which jerseys were worn where and, you know, it's, it's sometimes hard to research. All the pictures, the jerseys that I have in this video, I took from Football Kit Archive, link in the description below, uh, a page that I can highly recommend. I rate all these jerseys on a scale from one being the worst to 10 being the best. And uh, then we will go group by group. You see here all uh, the teams that we have here. Groups A and B will be in video one, groups uh, C and D in video two, uh, E and F in video three, and G and H in video four. And so I would say let's get started with Groups A and B, which means we're looking at Arsenal, PSV, Bodo Glimt, Zurich, Dynamo Kiev, Stadren, Fenerbahce and Larnaca. And we do it in exactly that order. So let's start up in North London with the Gunners, where the jerseys, my, the most jerseys we have already reviewed, you can find in the Premier League review. Uh, we had that the home jersey is a very nice uh, looking nine star shirt. The uh, weight jersey, while uh, kind of stylish, I only gave it seven stars because there are a few things that actually bug me with it. I did not like the third jersey uh, that, 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 that much. The color just puts me off. And so it was only a four star for me. However, there's one jersey that has been released. It was only worn in the FA Cup in one game, which is kind of the second iteration of the white out jersey for uh, no more in the no more red campaign uh, against knife crime so they took out all the red from the arsenal uh, shirt they actually if it was meant to be an all white out but seemingly for tv coverage they actually then added a few outlines for the sponsor for the adidas logo and especially for the arsenal crest I think it's an interesting idea. Uh, overall, I think the charity is very, uh, it's a good thing to have it, let's put it that way. Uh, however, you know, I don't really like white out jerseys, but I think the that they have actually outlined it makes it a little bit better. Still, it's just an average jersey. Uh, and in that sense, I give it five stars. We also have covered all the PSV jerseys already in the Eredivisie uh, jersey review. Uh, the home jersey, while classic PSV look, I gave it seven stars because uh, as a little bit, you could do a little bit more. I really, really, really like the away jer jersey with the checkerboard pattern that actually fades in and out. That was a nine star. And then even the third jersey, while simple, it's kind of effective, but I gave it six stars because it is then, in the end, it's nothing more than your average jersey. And so after going quick, we are going way up north to Bode Glimt. Diodora is the supplier for uh, Bode Glimt, which given the, the outings that I had with Roma, and for me, Roma is always kind of a team that I a little bit associate with Diodora some, uh, so sometimes. I find it interesting. Now, the home jersey is in a way, and I think this one was worn in the previous season. Uh, so I think they carry they carry forward. You know, this is always a little bit weird with those uh, teams that uh, play by the calendar season, by the calendar year uh, due to the long winters. It's a very simple yellow jersey. I do like the little effect in there, which gives you the kind of the ripples of the sea. There is a fish up there and some waves, uh, loads of sponsors. 
it's not the greatest jersey let's uh let's face it and you know uh, while some nice design elements it kind of is a little bit bland i'm gonna uh, give this one a five star the away jersey uh though while more or less the same thing i actually like it a teeny bit better uh mainly because there's a city map on there it's still rather rather plain and still has the sponsors uh i honestly want to know why the fish is on uh, up there so if you know anything about that would be nice i like it a teeny bit better but i honestly really kind of push it up to six so i also give this a five star um the third jersey probably the most spectacular one and of course if you lo look at it dark with the uh, uh, greenish uh, shapes in there of course the northern lights i actually this one i really enjoy um i actually think that the logos in white also make a little bit sense this one gets for me a six star because there's a little bit too many sponsors but i think that the northern lights that make an excellent excellent uh feature for jerseys but you know uh it's rather average fair overall which is all the same we can say for the still reigning swiss champions although zurich are in some uh <laughs> are not enjoying the best seasons let's put it with that way uh and they are supplied by nike and you know get the typically uh, smaller club treatment by nike uh, by a lot of standard jerseys however i do have to say that the home jersey also not the newer the newer crest where they just have the circle which i find in interesting i have to say this jersey though while it is just a standard time temple having the blue stripes kind of with fading uh shades of blue from a very dark to a very light and also uh to, to sponsor makes this a very intriguing and nice to look at shirt overall i think that's a pretty cool one um i'm actually gonna give this uh an a nine star i think it's it's a really 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 strong strong look i i really enjoyed that one uh it would be, you know the only thing is that the uh, uh, pinstripes are broken but I, th I i think it's a really strong look however the away jersey jersey is just a black jersey with white and then slap a crest cross it and given that zurich are uh, blue and white it doesn't make much sense if this was a navy blue jer uh, jersey i would like it a whole lot better this is just about average uh like the border jersey jersey i'm gonna go five and then they have issued a really awful uh, third jersey jersey in neon. I mean, at least the blue of the sleeves fits kind of in there, but I find it a little bit, um, you know, too in your face in a way. Uh, not a big fan of all of that one. I'm gonna go for here. Out of group A into group B and we go all the way to Ukraine to the reigning ukrainian champions dynamo kiev new balance i think that uh they are one of two new balance teams that we look at um and the home jersey i mean again the picture the neck is very very thin which l makes it look already a little a little bit odd but you know uh let's look past that i do like how the white and the blue interact especially with the ukrainian flag which adds a little bit of yellow and interest uh i usually like sashed jerseys very much but i find that the um, the brush stroke effect is a little bit much don't you agree with me uh that's the one thing and then also the big blue sleeve cuffs that are very rigid it doesn't connect up if there was like uh on the transition also a little bit of brush stroke effect there i think this would look a little bit better um other than that you know it's it's i don't want to say it's a classic dynamo kiev look but you know uh white jersey with some blue accents that's dynamo kiev to me uh in that in the, in that sense it's pleasing um i over wanna go with a six star here again uh nice color scheme it's just that the sash takes it down for me a notch um having said that i think the away jersey looks actually quite nice uh and there is something has been something about dynamo kiev away which is always been liking because they go now for this darker shade shade of blue you still have kind of uh effect in there uh with 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 the light blue and then uh the yellow outline on the collar uh also pairs of very very well with the ukrainian flag that's on there i think that that looks actually pretty uh nice a very very strong jersey um i'm gonna go nine star here 
as well. And then we have a third jersey, which is in yellow. I also think this is interesting uh, for two reasons. A, you have the yellow with the uh, blue, of course, it's uh, on the sleeve because it's a reverse Ukrainian flag. Maybe that's some, 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 something, something that could have been thought about better. Uh, I probably would have also made the color completely in blue, but you know, that's just a minor detail. But uh, the pattern on it, I think is really interesting. Uh, these bars that are, are kind of end in uh, arrows and they're really well made because if you look at the top bar, uh, the left side is all is more or less parallel to uh, the slant of the New Balance logo and the right side fits very well with the angles on the Dynamo Kiev logo. I think this is really, really well done and kind of then uh, pull it down. Uh, and then you break it up twice and there's FCDK. It's a very interesting, very uh, intriguing pattern. Overall, also makes for a really nice shirt. I gotta say, maybe not as much. Uh, I, I don't like, like it as much as the away jersey, but this is a nice one. I'm gonna go eight stars with this one. Then we're going over to France for Stade Rennes. We saw it already in the league. Uh, jersey review. The home jersey has a few nice fee features, but you know, uh, over overall looks a little bit bland. So I gave it six stars. Same thing goes for the away jersey. I thought there are quite a few things to like, but uh, again, it's nothing outstanding. Uh, so also six stars here. And the third jersey, I just do not get, but this is my Milan sensibilities. If Milan would come up with such a jersey, they would just be thrown out of town. In, I understand Stadren doesn't have that, but it's still why the blue and the black um, is a little bit beyond me. So I gave that three stars. Go to Turkey to Fenerbahce, uh, another Puma team, and they have a really interesting home jersey. Um, usually, Fenerbahce is uh, the yellow and the blue. Uh, and I know the first time I saw Fenerbahce, it was when they played the Champions League in the mid 90s, where they had also the uh, yellow blue, but I think with white sleeves. So, having a little bit white on there. Uh, is kind of cool. I also find it really cool that the sponsor is just outlined. On, on there really well done you don't have to break up the stripes uh the one thing where i'm going back and forth with this one is look at the sleeves usually when you have stripes the sleeves kind of have the stripes here but they continue with the pattern so that the sleeves kind of break uh the pattern and, and they turn into hoops which in one way is really interesting and intriguing on the other side it does look a little bit odd I gotta say, overall, this looks really, really nice. I even like the white, um, thinner stripes between the yellow and the blue, although I probably would prefer it without. But I actually think there is some, some, some something about it. It has a slightly exotic slash South American feel to it. I think this is a, this is, this, this is a winner. I'm giving it eight stars, um, you know, just for the a few odd features. Fenerbahce overall have a pretty nice set because I also like the away jersey, although, you know, uh, white and yellow together don't really do it that much for, for me. But this one is way more interesting, for instance, than Star Sartren. It looks like these are feathers, although I'm not 100% sure, but the specs, it makes it kind of a little bit playful overall. I want to give this seven. There is some, 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 some about it that is actually quite nice. Um, and probably the favorite of the bunch, it's very similar to the PSV uh, away jersey that we've seen, is the third jersey. It has also this checkerboard pattern in two dark shades of blue and then everything else is silver. An argument could be made, given the yellow inset and the yellow patch on the back that maybe you should have gone yellow here. Uh, the silver takes it out a little bit. However, I actually do enjoy the shades uh, that are used here overall. Um, I would say it is somewhere between those two shirts. I'm going to give it seven um, because of the silver. I think there could be done a little bit more. And we ended on Cyprus. And I'm sorry, I don't have a much better picture, but it's another Puma team. Uh, Ike Larnaca uh, have this uh, yellow uh, and green number in stripes. I actually think it's overall done all right, it's just that the sponsor on it looks awful and does not fit at all and takes it down quite a few notches, I gotta say. 
for that reason I only can give this I mean I actually like overall the colors and the design however the sponsor doesn't make no sense whatsoever uh, and even the patched uh, one up, uh, up there as well so I'm only gonna give this six star because of that I think we would have looked at eight otherwise and the same problem goes for the away jersey has an interesting pattern uh, it looks temperatured with a crest slapped on maybe if you would make this you know gray and yellow or gray and green you know or make these triangles in the two colors i think this could have made for a little bit of a more interesting shirt potentially I, I i know it's again the sponsor it's rather middle of of the park i actually wanna go with yeah actually only four here there's something about it that i don't really like it's probably the gray and so we're done with the first part please let me know which jerseys did you like in here and which ones you didn't give me where you agree with me give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and i'll surely talk to you soon bye hey there i really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too also please consider subscribing to this channel and hitting the little bell icon so that you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe and with that have a wonderful day bye